Dignity Health was founded in 1986, and they're known for their facility fitness instructors, specialty counselors, and registered dietitians in order to help people stay strong, healthy, and fit. Well, once the pandemic hit, they had to renovate themselves or reinvent themselves and also find some new ways to which they could promote wellness while still staying safe. 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo tells us how they were able to find a new platform and also continue to make a difference in the Valley. It was pretty remarkable because we had to shut our doors on March 17th. Abby Gaida is a health educator for Dignity Health. She vividly remembers the day when everything had to close. We are so used to having hundreds of people walk in and out of our door for engagement, for classes, to have a great time and stay healthy. And we're like, we can't turn that off. We still need to, you know, serve our community and provide these resources for them. For me, it was a day where I uh, was really uncertain. You know, I, I'm always planning ahead on my classes. Our hands together. Tawanda Evans McIntosh is an educator for infants and toddlers at Dignity Health. Parents and grandparents would rely on her weekly classes. She immediately jumped on Facebook Live and within seconds, over 100 people joined. We wanted to create something that was solid and consistent. It was very foreign to us. I mean, no one really did know about Zoom at that time. What started off with 20 classes immediately started to expand. As of now, we are uh, reaching over more than 21,000 individuals in the community and over 1,600 classes. All of which continue to be free and you just need the internet. And we do start off with a lot of the classes that are very vital and important. So staying healthy with our chronic disease programs, one-on-one uh, -on -one with the registered dietitian and fitness. But now we have everywhere from infant classes, mommy and baby classes, um, support groups, uh, and to really help people manage their health at home during these times. I still remember my first Zoom with my kids because I couldn't see them. With Facebook, you can't see anything. With the Zoom, I was able to see them. McIntosh says seeing and hearing the children gave her encouragement that we will get through this. The face-to-face -face interaction that we're really used to seeing in our classrooms, um, you know, nothing's going to really beat that. But we, we know that this is going to be going on, and we're like, you know what, we're very happy that we're still able to deliver this in a very quick way. When we see a need, we're right there and ready to fill it. Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now. So not only are they reaching people in Nevada, but a lot of their participants are reaching out to their family members that live in other states. Their average size class is now in their 30s.